So we're kind of being backwards ass right now. We're going down to his parents' place to try to find his winter jacket. So we have to ride down there to ride back and go down there later with the truck and pick up the quad and the Arctic cat on the trailer. Should be awesome tomorrow. Should be another beautiful day. It's gonna be cold, but that's fine. The saddest thing though is Three Palms is only letting the quads ride on the like back crappy track. I mean, at least they're letting us ride on something. Nobody seems to like quads. I like quads. I like motorcycles. I like anything with a motor. Equal opportunity. But yesterday was gross. I was gonna ride the Grom to work, but it was raining. The front was coming through. So we couldn't resist Groming around this morning. Even though it's cold. I was gonna wear my boots, but I couldn't find them. Since I put all my motorcycle stuff away, since I didn't think I'd be getting a bike this soon, I guess. But I got some white socks on. Sweet white socks. <laughs> It looks like I'm wearing high waters with long white socks. Couldn't find any black ones, so whatever. People just make fun of me. I'm all dolled up in my track gear. And white socks. See my sweet white socks? Yeah. So I've been thinking. And who knows if I'll actually do this. But after running the Grom around a little bit, it would be nice to have a big bike, but after owning the 05 R1, 2010 S1000, BMW, a couple RC51s, first bike was a 929, CBR 929, I was thinking that maybe I would find an older Maybe wrecked, maybe just need some TLC, CBR 954, and turn it into a badass street fighter. Something like that would be in my price range. It would have enough power, and it would be awesome, because I really, okay, to be honest, I really want the Honda CB1000R. Those things are sweet. They don't have a ton of power, for, especially for a thousand. It's pretty nutless compared to like the CBR 1000. It's supposed to be the same motor, but it's not. At least horsepower numbers. I'm sure it has a lot of mid-range and you know, it's much more friendly. But anyway, those things are still going for like six to 8,000. Because they're, they're fairly new, they look cool, they're a Honda. And I just don't want to spend six to 8,000 on a bike again. It would be cool to have uh, another 05 R1. They're still around like 4,500, 5,000 range. But if I could find like a CBR 929, not 929, 954, for like around 2,000, maybe up to like 3,000, 3,500. If it's in good shape and sport bike shape, I may keep it like that for a while. But if it's not, like it's in wrecked or something, I think it would be really fun to do a conversion bike. Because those, you know, they've got pretty sexy lines for being early 2000s. And I know a lot of purists don't like them as street fighters. <laughs> I got a little bit of air. That was pretty sweet. But anyway, back to my 954. Wouldn't that be really awesome? I'm sorry purists. I know I know a lot of people don't like Street Fighters, but after the Grom and being upright and not hurting my wrists, man, it's so nice. And you got like big white bars to play with and you're upright. And you know me, I'm always a sucker for another project. So like I said, who knows if I'll do it, who knows how soon it'll be, but I'm gonna keep my eye out for a 954 and hopefully something something happens. We'll see. But for now, loving the Grom. We're supposed to be going riding at the uh, motocross track Monday since we 
work at car dealers and motorcycle dealers, we get the Sunday, Monday off, work every Saturday. Kind of sucks, kind of awesome. So yeah, some of you probably saw the Fayu gimbal going freaking out video that I posted. I've sent it back. Hopefully they'll be sending me a new one that works. That one didn't work straight out of the box. It always did that. I tried updating the firmware. Did some research. It's just kind of a problem with them. Some of them. So, looks like I got a dud. Hopefully, hopefully the second one works well and stays working and I can get some pretty badass footage. Because, you know, that would be pretty sweet. Put it on your chest, like for the motocross stuff. See how, like, the bike moves around you. Because it stays level and everything, so... And hopefully we can get back into, if it doesn't rain so much, we can get back into uh, riding mountain bikes. I think that would look pretty sweet. We've got some pretty cool single track around here. If you look at my YouTube channel and the older stuff, you'll see a lot of old mountain bike videos.